Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aries might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys would like okay so this reading is for mid-February 2021 keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless so whether you come across this reading right after I upload a week month or even a year from now if you feel drawn to watch it most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading now if you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you just keep the parts that do disregard the rest and if you know your other planetary placements you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages okay now I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards and ask our angels guides and ancestors for any love messages for Aries for mid-February 2021 spirit what love messages do you have for Aries for the mid-month of February 2021 Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries for mid-month February 2021? Okay, and one more time. All right, I'm dividing these into three stacks. Okay, the card on the bottom of the deck. It's the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Now, the Two of Pentacles is your overall energy for this reading. Now, as we go along, I'm going to show you how this card is going to relate to the different cards that come up in your reading. Now, the Two of Pentacles talks about that um, kind of self-focused energy, almost to the point that the people that... Are around you kind of feel like you may be egotistical they may feel like you are um, you know self-absorbed only focusing on your thoughts and your feelings what you want and your emotions and not the things that are going on around you these people that are around you may feel like uh, you don't even notice what kind of dis distress or something that's going on but the fact is that to a Two of Pentacles may sometimes look as if it's very self-centered and things like that, but sometimes you really and truly have to focus on your own self and your own uh, feelings and the things that are going on in your own little universe uh, before you can take care of others that are around you. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself run down and very depleted and with nothing left to give anybody, not even yourself. Okay, now for those of you who are new here, I do four rows. And the first row pertains to you, the things you've been going through in the recent past, uh, things that are currently happening, <clears throat> and things that are coming towards you. The second row is the same thing, only it's for your twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart. This could be an ex. It might be somebody you just met. But whatever your relationship, your current relationship status is, generally this reading will be about the person that is on your mind the most the one you're thinking about when you wake up in the morning and the one you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night the third row has to do with fears anxieties the things we tend to do to self-sabotage ourselves uh, you know no matter how much you might want something uh, those fears keep us from achieving it and sometimes we'll come up with a million excuses and sometimes we don't even realize we're doing it all right the uh, outcome is the fourth column all right and we're going to go ahead and start this reading. Now, I put out two cards in each of the four rows. And I'm going to do that two more times. So we have a past, present, future scenario. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Now, we have the three of swords as well as this ten of wands. And this definitely tells me you have been through some heartbreak. You've been through some betrayal. Uh, things where you may have trusted someone from your past. And, you know, even though this may be over, 
or it might not be, even if you're physically not with that person anymore, even if the two of you have broken up, you're still carrying that hurt with you. You're still carrying it with you. It's kind of cumbersome and it's keeping you from uh, moving forward as quickly or as swiftly as you can. Uh, that may be the reason that you have this two of pentacles here is that you are more focused on the healing aspects that are going on in your life. Now, when we get to your partner's column, I do see that there is a water sign coming up. We have the Page of Cups as well as the Two of Cups. And this is definitely someone that would kind of like get you. They would, I'm feeling very Pisces uh, energy from this. I'm feeling that this would be a relationship where uh, the two of you would see each other more on equal footing, more on uh, a more balanced level where it's not just one person doing all the giving and giving and giving in the relationship. You have the um, Page of Cups, which definitely tells me that they're going to reach out to you. You're going to receive some type of communication from them, and they're going to let it be known that they're really, uh, you know, focused on, <laughs> focused on you, okay? All right, now, if it is a Pisces, okay, if it is a Pisces, and you have this Two of Pentacles overwriting your reading here, uh, you know, you have all this water back here, and this very tumultuous, uh, you know, they're very emotional. A Pisces is very emotional, very sentimental. Uh, they respond more to, uh, you know, like honey than uh, vinegar. <laughs> okay, so this is a person that you might actually have to uh, tilt your focus off of yourself more. Okay, if this is somebody that you really and truly want in your life and you want to make that effort to uh, try to make a relationship with this person work. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, things like that, we have the Five of Wands as well as the Six of Pentacles. Now, both of these tell me that you're having a lot of internal struggles about this. You may be feeling a little bit of resentment. There may be some little petty uh, fights and things like that that are coming up with maybe some insecurities on one either one side of you of your partner, either you or yourself, but it's in the end, it's making you feel like you are the one that is doing all of the giving and giving and giving. This card being in the uh, self-sabotage column, this card is encouraging us not to give more than we have to give, uh, not to deplete yourself so that you keep giving and giving and giving and there's nothing left for yourself. And the uh, outcome, you have the Empress as well as the Eight of Pentacles. And this is an awesome card right here. The Eight of Pentacles shows me that you have been working so hard on yourself, on achieving a higher level of enlightenment, on uh, all of the spiritual things that are going on in your life. There is a lot of growth there. Uh, and with that, we have the Empress, which definitely epitomizes growth. Uh, she also represents beauty, aesthetics, love, sensuality, as well as fertility. Uh, this is uh, a card that tells me that with all this growth and all this work that you're doing on yourself, that you will soon see the fruits of your labor coming into play. All right, now in the second row, we have the Nine of Pentacles, I just love her, as well as the Queen of Wands. Now in your partner's column, we have the Moon as well as the Nine of Swords, okay? obstacles and challenges. You have the Three of Pentacles as well as the Six of Wands. And in your outcome, you have the Knight of Swords as well as the Page of Wands. Now, the thing that I love so much about this Nine of Pentacles is she reminds me so much of the Empress. She's kind of like an Empress in training. This is someone that is striving, that is working towards, that is achieve, trying to achieve that level of Empress, okay? This is you working on all of the things in your life uh, that would bring you about to, uh, you know, that puts you on that path to becoming that Empress level. As far as the Queen of Wands is concerned, her being in your column here tells me that you have that fire, that you have that uh, oomph that it takes to be able to do this, that you are really focused on it and you're going to do whatever it is. It's also telling me that this is the time that you will be in, um, for, in not enforcing, 
uh, that you will be drawing on uh, all of that sensuality, all of that um, feeling of uh, sexiness, I guess. Uh, you're going to have a lot of people's attention, okay? You're going to walk into a room and all heads are going to turn. You're going to step out of your car and everybody's going to stop and look to see who you are. This is a time, you know, with all this work that you've been uh, putting on yourself, this is definitely a time where you can kind of uh, enjoy all the things that you've been working so hard to achieve all right uh, a person from your past is uh, you know kicking themselves silly they are regretting it they are sorry they you know you're basically haunting them they can't sleep at night because thoughts and memories of you are keeping them awake they're thinking over of all the bad things that they did all the sneaking around they did all of that third-party situation uh, that topped off your reading earlier uh, you know the fact that they got caught now are they really sorry that they uh, were unfaithful or are they sorry they got caught and there is a very big difference in that with the um, the moon card basically it shows us that they got caught because after the eclipse the landscape is lit up and you can see all the little things they're doing and they're really really regretting that they're regretting that they're that they let you go but sometimes that doesn't mean that it's a great thing to take that person back when we get to obstacles and challenges with the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, okay, this tells me that you're going to, you know, you're still going to be working really hard on yourself. You're still going to be like really trying to achieve, like we were talking about earlier, this higher level of enlightenment, this greater spirituality that is going to be entering your life. It's going to be able to lead you and guide you and able to make you more successful in order to, uh, lead you to the things that you really really want to achieve in your life uh, now it, where this is a, a love reading this does have a lot of uh, you know inferences to the fact that you know you're doing a lot of work on yourself and as far as your career growth money success that type of things it's very optimistic and outgoing looking uh, reading for you okay I lost my train of thought there for a moment all right so with the page of wands as well as the uh, knight of swords this tells me that you need to be really careful that you aren't as impulsive as you need to be you need to let your feelings know be known you need to you know know what it is that you want from yourself what you want from your life what you you know what you um, are really really the most trying to achieve but don't go so quick and so hasty that you could end up making a mistake okay all right now I've been reading for Aries but there is a very very overwhelming feeling of uh, Virgo yeah, it, that keeps coming to me so I don't know if maybe you are dealing with the Virgo or if uh, you know you have a new Virgo that's coming into your life Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these last little row out here. Okay, now we have Strength card as well as the Seven of Cups. All right, so these things where I was talking about earlier, being careful that you don't act so impulsively. Uh, the, the fact that uh, you have the Seven of Cups here, you know, and I was just talking about going out and being playful, enjoying yourself, having a little adventure, uh, exploring that sensuous side of yourself. There's going to be so many options there for you. You need to be careful that you don't get uh, kind of lost in that and kind of tangled up in that. This is a time for you to use discretion, for you to uh, decide exactly what it is you want from your life, that the particular type of person, uh, you know, you can sit and talk and meet new people, and at the same time, uh, the longer you're talking to them, the more you see uh, that this is definitely not something you want, or it could be something that you do want. But it's telling you just to take your time, no matter how many offers you get, and there are going to be a lot because of all this new growth that you have in your life, okay? Now, with the Seven of Swords and the Emperor in your 
uh, partner's column, well, the Seven of Swords, and I really don't like this guy, and most of us know somebody like this. Most of us have experienced this type of partner in our life at some time. This is the one that uh, lies and manipulates. They basically steal your affection, your love, your pride, everything. Uh, and the reason I say they steal is because if you knew the exact really type of person that they were, and all the sneaky, dark, underlying little things that they do in their life, you would have never uh, <laughs> given them the light of day, which is why you need to employ the strength card and really, you know, be uh, using your discernment when it comes to who you choose to be in your life. Don't just take whoever comes into your life, okay? Because uh, when you reach a certain level of spirituality and enlightenment, you're going to attract everything. You're going to attract the good things and the dark things, okay? Because, you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> just the way it is. So you need to be careful and, uh, like I said, use that discernment about who's coming into your life because you do have an, an emperor energy. Now, whether you are male or female, uh, whether you are gay or straight or whatever uh, gender you choose to be, uh, there is no gender in the tarot. It's about the energies that these cards represent. So you do have this emperor energy that is coming into your life. You are very likely going to encounter someone who is very mature, who has everything going for them, uh, has it together, who's patient, kind, loving, understanding, as opposed to, you know, throwing caution to the wind, like with the uh, Knight of Swords over here and being impulsive and acting on physical attraction or whatever it is that you you are attracted to instead of impulsively acting on that you find that uh, you know this person might not be the best thing for you take your time and you will discover your emperor okay now in your obstacles and challenges you have that king of swords as well as the sun now with all these new things that are coming about in your life especially with the, the empress She's got this beautiful red cloak here, same one that is here in uh, the sun. This She's got the sun coming up behind her. So when that day finally gets here, when you finally have all of this growth that's coming in here, uh, this is the time for you to use the energy from the King of Swords to eliminate all of these uh, funky energies and people and toxic relationships and things that are going on in your life. Sometimes they can be our own family members. Sometimes they can be uh, a longtime partner that you believed in and trusted Whatever the case may be, this is definitely a time for you to use your head over your heart and your emotions, uh, the feelings that you have where you feel like you are obligated to them. Uh, this is not necessarily um, an easy decision that you're going to have to make when it comes to moving forward and having this new growth in your life. Uh, sometimes these people that we love and trust the most are the ones that uh, hold us back the most. For example, uh, I have a daughter who, uh, you know, has a very needy boyfriend, I'll say. And, um, you know, when it comes to this new career offer that she was just made, uh, this person's going to have a lot of problems about it. And they, they end up, you know, trying to hold her back or make her feel guilty for moving forward. Uh, she's, you know, we're all in a state of growth. And if you growing interferes with someone or makes them feel threatened. That is something they, on their own, have to learn to deal with. Or, uh, you know, you have to uh, use that King of Swords energy and, and eliminate it from your life because you can't just stay stagnant. So with the Four of Cups as well as the Queen of Swords, definitely same type energy again. It's like no matter what this person ends up offering you, no matter what it is they are, uh, you know, telling you, all of these little empty promises here, here comes another empty promise. You're not having it. You're bored with it. You're used to it. Uh, you know, I kind of get the, the, the phrase like, you know, I'm so bored with that. Try something new. Uh, definitely uh, you've had enough of this person. And so, you know, we, we're ending this reading with the Queen of Swords, which tells me that you are shining and you are fulfilling all of your uh, dreams. You have a dream job. You have a new life and career and things like that that you're starting. And the uh, Queen of Swords is like, okay, you've hurt me before. These are the things you do. Uh, I'm just going to have to eliminate this from my life. Sure, come closer if you want to, but I'm not putting it with any more, 
okay? And that is your reading for mid-February 2020. I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day. And I just want to thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. And I want to apologize again for my absence. I have this crazy job that I'm always traveling and uh, sometimes... I'm just not able to uh, keep up, but hopefully all of that's going to end very soon and I'll be able to uh, focus and dedicate 100% of my time to this channel and get it moving forward like it should be. Okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.